Hey everyone, Kyle Walker here. If you love cars, fixing things, or just want to understand your vehicle better, you're in the right place. I share hands-on tips, smart driving advice, and straight-up car talk without the fluff. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stick around till the end. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Let's get into batteries it. are designed for voltage, 12V, and direct current. They are connected with the help of terminals, one of which has a plus charge, and the other, minus. The plus is connected to the electrical system of the car, and the minus is connected to the body, mass. Polarity is the mutual placement of the terminals. Incorrect connection of the battery threatens to break down the electrical equipment. But the problem is that the terminals on different batteries and located can be different. The difference between forward and reverse polarity. There are the following types of battery polarity. Direct, used in the Russian Federation, reverse, reverse battery polarity is. Typical for European cars, and cars assembled in CS countries are more often equipped with straight polarized batteries. For types of polarity are distinguished by the layout of the elements. Two types each for trucks and cars, although there are several more, less common. A forward polarity battery differs from a reverse polarity battery in the placement of current leads. But there are no differences in the principle of operation. Technical characteristics can be quite identical. There are also models of Asian type and American. In some sources, they are indicated as additional types. However, this is incorrect because the differences relate to the size. Asian batteries are larger in height, but smaller in width. In addition, the terminals on such devices are thinner. Batteries of American manufacture more often have terminals on the side, which are made for fastening with a bolt. Moreover, Asian models belong to reverse polarized and American models to straight polarized. To understand in detail what is the reverse and forward polarity of the car battery, it will help to analyze the different variants of the battery. How to determine the polarity of the battery. The method of determination will be partially different for cars and trucks. Passenger cars to determine whether the polarity of the battery is forward or reverse, turn the device with the leads facing you. The label will be placed in front of your eyes. A battery is considered to be straight polarized if the plus is placed first from left to right, then dash. Such batteries are labeled with the number 1 and are installed mainly on domestic cars and on some foreign-made cars. In reverse polarized batteries are the opposite. First comes the minus, then the plus. Such a battery is labeled with the number 0. But despite the difference, you cannot understand what polarity the battery has, only through ignorance or in a hurry. Trucks. To find out the polarity of the battery for a truck, you need to look at the terminals, turning the device this side to itself. The terminals are often located on the short side. If the plus lead is on the left and the minus lead is on the right, then this is a reverse polarized battery, and it is indicated by the number 3. The minus placed on the right and the plus on the left define a straight polarized truck battery, which is denoted by the number 4. Read also. Ways to elevator the car for repair without using a pit and a hoist in rare cases. There are still other variants of the layout of the battery. 2. The terminals are arranged diagonally. 6. The sides of the battery are the same width and the leads are placed on the same side, from left to right dash, then plus. 9. Current leads are placed in the center of the short sides. Additional ways to determine polarity determining the polarity of the battery is also possible by the appearance of the individual elements. In a straight polarized battery, the plus terminal is larger than the minus terminal. The terminal leads are generally thicker. Terminal thickness, mm. Straight polar reverse polar plus 19, 512, 7 minus 17, 911. One, there should be no difficulty in determining this also because the manufacturer marks plus and dash on the housing next to the terminals or directly on the terminals. In addition, they are marked with colors, respectively, plus, red, dash, blue, or black. Protective caps on the terminal wires, terminal caps. The battery itself may be labeled with the letters L or R. The first indicates reverse polarity. The second indicates forward polarity. Pay attention. In case of difficulty, manufacturers offer to use the online catalog to select the optimal battery model. If there are no markings on the battery, the polarity is determined using multimeter in the constant current voltage U measurement. Mode, 
The black probe is connected to the suspected minus and the red probe to the plus. If the test person guesses the polarity, the instrument will show the voltage as 12V. If the polarity does not match, the voltage will be dash 12V, a weak solution of acid, such as citric acid. To the battery terminals, you need to connect copper wires, screw one wire at a time to the terminals, and the other dip them into the solution. It is important that the wires do not touch. Where the minus wire will be, air bubbles will form, raw potatoes. Copper wires are also used. Only they need to be stuck in a potato cut in half at a distance of 5 to 10 millimeters from each other. Where there is a plus, the potato will turn green, inspection of the terminals. In addition to the fact that the plus terminal is thicker than the minus one, the secondhand battery has another difference. The plus terminal has a white or green plaque, oxide contamination. What happens if the polarity is reversed? The most common confusion occurs when recharging the battery, but inexperienced drivers also incorrectly connect the battery to the onboard network. This causes sparking and all elements are seriously jeopardized. A blown fuse is the least of the dangers of a mistake. First check all fuses, starting with the distribution elements under the hood. The blown ones are replaced by matching the amperage. This is what happens if you confuse the polarity of the battery. In addition to a blown fuse, there's also the potential damage dashboard lighting and electronics, the alarm system, wires, onboard. Computer, electronics are very sensitive to polarity reversal, and if the engine starts turning in the opposite direction, the electronics will fail. Battery, engine control unit, the engine stops starting or control is complicated. The control unit can be equipped with protection, a so-called stabilizer. It is connected in parallel to the supply bus. If it is broken and there is no spare part, you can make a direct connection by removing the stabilizer. The breakdown occurs due to the fact that the maximum current passes through the connection and it increases because the resistance of the diodes is zero. As a result, the probability of ignition of the wiring and damage to other elements of the onboard network increases. Read also. For what it is needed color indicator on the battery and what its colors mean after replacing the fuses it is necessary. To check the alternator serviceability, start the engine and let it idle for 10 to 15 minutes, then determine the temperature of the alternator. If it is overheated, it means that the diode bridge has failed. After that, check the other elements of the electrical system. Important, the error is especially fatal on Japanese-made cars. However, it is difficult to confuse the forward or reverse polarity of the battery, and here are the reasons why. It is not possible. To fix the minus wire on the plus terminal, because it is too thick, the plus lead is too short. However, some people still manage to put the battery incorrectly. The first signal is a strong spark, which indicates a short circuit in the circuit. Much more often they confuse polarity when charging the battery. If the mistake was noticed at once, you need to check the performance of the battery and connect the charging correctly. If the battery has had time to charge and works, you cannot install it on the car because its polarity is changed. To avoid damage to the onboard system of the car, it is necessary to fully discharge the battery and then charge it correctly. Can the battery be installed in a different polarity? Motorists who inexperiencedly purchased an unsuitable battery are interested in whether it is possible to somehow put it in the car. Theoretically, it is possible. Naturally, it is not possible to simply connect the battery as usual. You will have to turn the battery upside down and pull the wire to the appropriate terminal. The wire is sometimes short, so it will have to be extended. It is impossible to approach this case hastily because it is necessary to carefully select the wire, calculating the necessary cross section. And such a connection would already be hack work. Instead of the risky event of connecting the battery with the wrong polarity, experienced drivers recommend selling the device and buying the one that is needed. To avoid incorrectly connecting the battery, experienced drivers advise beginners to buy the exact same battery that was installed. However, this method does not save from incorrect installation on recharging, so be careful when buying and installing the battery. In conclusion, Understanding battery polarity is essential for ensuring the proper functioning of your devices. By recognizing the signs of forward and reverse polarity and using simple tools like a multimeter or a battery tester, you can easily check and confirm the correct orientation. 
Always remember to follow safety precautions when handling batteries to avoid any potential hazards. With this knowledge, you can confidently tackle any battery-related tasks, ensuring your devices operate smoothly and efficiently. Thank you for watching and stay informed.